No bolt cutters, huh? I guess that would just make too much sense. Uh, is this door open? Why doesn't this door open, of all things? Yeah, I don't have a fuse, so I'm not getting through there. Oh boy. They have not come back out the door. Maybe they're just too stupid. They forgot about me already. Lack of object permanence. Uh, boards. Examine. Uh, story of pieces of wood that can be used to board up windows. Perfect for keeping the riffraff out. Yeah, let's try that. Yeah? So, wow, she nailed it. I don't even know how she... How, I guess she hammered them with her gun or something? Okay, so good news is that door is closed now. Bad news is I don't know how to get any of the things... They didn't actually help me open doors. They just helped me board a freaking door closed. So that's closed. That's blocked. Every door is locked. Come on. Just, like, hit it harder or something. <laughs> Key? <laughs> Even though it's from the gas station? Shoot gun. Shoot with gun. Can I just shoot it? It's a waste of ammo if I mess this up. Cool. Alright. That was a waste. It's an umbrella. Cleaning supplies guy does not have anything for me to use here. Are you sure there's not something jammed down you I can grab? Like, j grabbing things out of drains is like a, a thing we like to do. There's a plunger, there's a box. Uh... I'm a bit alarmed because every chunk of the map currently says that I've fully explored it. All of these are blue, implying that I have every item. Which is a problem. Because I don't, uh, think I have a way out. This is like, look, medallions and shit. I'm like, yeah, cool, medallions. I can look for these statues to see if there's a way to open something. Surely I don't have to kill every single one of them, right? That was a lot. Am I wrong about being trapped in here in the first place? Like, can I get... Yeah, I don't have that. Oh, it's... wait. Was I... Did I imagine it being closed a second ago? You weren't there. You all right? Yeah. You're safe. For now. <clears throat> Marvin Brana. Thanks. Obviously someone taught you well. Yeah. I know how to take care of myself. Come on. So nobody knows what caused this? There's a lot of theories. But all I know for sure is that this place is crawling with zombies. Yeah, you're telling me. Hey, hey, keep that on. Just in case. I'm not gonna be around long. Once I find Chris, we're out of here. You're really Chris's sister? Yeah. Why? Did you find something? He's on vacation. Europe, I think. Left weeks ago. Vacation? That's... that's great news. Well, I've got more for you. Looks like there might be a way out through this secret passageway. 
Good. <gasps> hey. Uh, hey, we should probably get you to a hospital. Oh, 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 forget about me. I can take care of myself. No. Don't be ridiculous. You're gonna need some help. Listen, Claire. Save yourself. So you can see your brother again. Now. You'll probably need this. No, I'm not taking that. You're gonna... Shh. And be careful. If you see one of those things, no matter who they were, you can't hesitate. Take them out if you can. Or you run. <laughs> Combat knife. Equipping the screen. Nice knife wears down with use and will break when its gauge is depleted. Oh. Base to ready. Left click to slash. I wonder why it's not just right click. Oh, I know. Because you can probably actively use it while you're using the sword, the knife. I mean, while you're using a gun. It's like right click for gun. Uh, space for knife. Can be used to counter attack. Space. When you are caught by an enemy and can only be retrieved once you defeat them. Oh. So it's like a grapple weapon. Like the self-defense items. Yeah, you can switch between them on the fly. Cool. Here we go. So here's where we need to put the three medallions. In loving memory of those who served with valor of lions. The notability of unicorns, and whose ultimate sacrifice is as pure as the maidens of old. That's a strange phrasing. Those are names. Nobility of unicorns. Can I talk to you at all? Alright. So we're back in the main hall. Take a look around. I can save freely. Oh. Can we take all, take all this tape off with the knife? Yep, that mechanic's still in here. I should not have done that before everything else. Let's put this shitty key back. Pretty sure we don't need that. It's the storage room key from a gas station I'm... I assume I'm never going back to. It'd be weird if I did. Oh, hey. Uh, wait. Nope. Combine? There we go. Oh, wow. This area's loaded. Whoa, he was busy. He already barricaded the door I came in through with, like, a bunch of stuff, despite his wound. Oh. I think something's slamming on it. Well, he was committed. Good job. Got the typewriter here. I would like to fully explore this, uh... This hub before I use the typewriter, if I can. Okay, you've got this spade symbol and a, and a very obvious lock. I want to try to figure out which things I can open, which things I can't, and so on. A lion. We just need to know his combo. I got that. I'm on top of it. Lion is lion... Fig le leaf or whatever. No. I don't know. Lion plant eagle? I'll probably know when I see it. Lion. Yeah. Gotcha.
Gotcha. It's a very shiny game. Shiny desks, shiny walls, shiny blood all over the police officers. I've, or basically, I've watched like two and a half cops die already, haven't I? Which I mean, like, he's not... He's a work in progress. You again. Same lock. Guide pamphlet. Welcome to Raccoon City. Did you know, while we are the home of pharmaceutical giant Umbrella Corporation, Raccoon City is a vibrant and dynamic city with a long, rich history of its own. In this guide, we'll introduce you to a few of the more unusual points of interest our city has to offer. Raccoon City Police Station. The building in the center of town wasn't always a police station. In fact, it used to be an art museum. Various features, like the unusual clock tower and the goddess statue in the main hall, remind us of a bygone era. Orphanage. Just a few blocks from the police station is an orphanage founded and run by the Umbrella Corporation with help of generous donations from businesses and citizens alike. The building is known for its stained glass window, which attracts visitors from around the world. It turns Ooh. a museum into a police station. Honestly, it's the last thing I'm going to be surprised about in the Resident Evil universe at this point. Hang on. You're going to tell me you guys have computer monitors that look like that? I mean, I guess Umbrella has better tech than everybody else, right? Just when I played the remake of the first game, they seem to have holographic projections at some points. I do not know the code, do I? There's a safe in here. Oh. Green herb. And so begins the trend. It's lucky of this. It's lucky that this neighborhood that's being taken over by the zombie outbreak happens to be the specific area that also is nice enough to. Uh, there's Marvin Brana. It happens to be the place that has these nice plants that just grow outside and have miraculous healing properties. It's a really nice neighborhood aside from the zombies. You can just go outside and chew on grass until you're 120 years old. I'm gonna mix- I'm gonna mix up green herbs with all of the various decorative potted plants in this place. Really? Big emphasis on that specific mo uh, key trend. No, put them together. What? Why would- I don't know why it wants to make a separate s stack. Hmm. It must be- maybe I'm pressing the wrong thing? Because it keeps trying to make a new stack every time I pick up ammo. Which would be a problem if I run out of slots. But I assume that's not- that'd be silly. It's probably not- probably doesn't work that way. Right, the lion. They said Lion, Unicorn, Maiden, so I'm guessing this one goes on the left. Oh, I didn't get choice. Oh, so it begins. So Elliot was right. Yeah, but we're not out of here yet. Yeah, but like seriously, what the fuck? <laughs> what? Like, y'all just have a secret entrance. In your, like, super grounded, normal-looking police station, you got these cartoonish spade blocks, and then that. I love this universe. It's dumb. <laughs> it's both a compliment. I mean, it is a compliment, just in general, really. There's nothing to know, but... But it's so dumb. Great. Oh. There we go again. Oh, wow. 
Oh, hey, that time it did. I, I didn't click anywhere near the right spot, and it then did combine them. So it's like me trying to click on a spot led to them taking up a new spot, I guess. That's definitely not readable. This information kiosk is useless to me. How do even the stuff on the ceiling get fucked up? The very thorough apocalypse. Can you climb through that? No. But maybe she could crawl through. It's pretty covered down there too. How? Okay, that's not a zombie, that's a bow. That's some next level amounts of animated gore in a video game. God damn. Uh. Yeah, that that's 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 a bioorganic weapon. A zombie doesn't pick somebody up and do that. That's elaborate. That's not even a suicide. Like that's too elaborate and violent for a suicide. Oh, so we're just we're doing the whole suit of cards here. I see. Okay. Thanks for that. His head just... Yeah, his head broke open. Ugh. Ugh. Look at claws. So we're setting up other monsters very early in this one. As opposed to the usual zombie startup. Uh, so is this going to be a mechanic in this game? That's interesting. Maybe instead of having zombies to get back up and you have to burn them with X amount of kerosene, we instead get X amount of things to block windows with, and maybe new zombies will, st will keep coming as long as you keep it open. Though I would, I would want to focus on barricading the outside wall. F fewer holes than a bunch of windows. You gonna make it through? Ah, uh, is this my chance to barricade the door if I want to? Yeah, she's gonna get through. Yep, there it goes. Deuces. Jesus. I'm not getting. I'm not getting my 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 retreat blocked. Bastard. Thank you very much. Are you getting back up or not? Hmm. You are getting back up. Okay. Nope. Holy shit, zombies, die. Are you done? Holy shit. I don't know what I don't know what Resident Evil zombies are made of, but it is the opposite of whatever Left 4 Dead zombies are made of. Oh, uh, they pried the bars open? Look at that outside. How even? 
Are you done? Okay, so my meter's fine. We're already halfway done with combat knife. I feel way more safe trying to use the combat knife in this game than in the last one. Where I definitely thought I would just get chomped. Because the zombies could do so much damage to you in one go. And the knife was so ineffectual. I chopped its arm off. Location-based zombie limb damage. There's a, there's a lot of cool things going on in this game immediately, mechanically. It really does feel like the... Oh, combined. There you go. It feels like the... The brand might be repairing itself a bit. After 5 and 6 being... Ugh. Records of events. September 25th. We are turning the station into a temporary shelter due to the massive sudden outbreak. All police personnel have been instructed to make the safety of the citizens their top priority as we try to accommodate as many of them as possible. September 25th, addendum. One of the refugees attacked us in the middle of the night, resulting in the death of one officer and injuring three others. The person in question was quickly restrained. We believe this was simply a case of somebody snapping under intense stress. September 26th. A mob attacked the station today, resulting in a number of casualties. A few survivors were able to make it safely behind emergency shutters, but surrounded as we are, it'll be hard for us, for any of us to escape this place. We're not sure we can fix any of our comm equipment, so we remain cut off from the outside world. September 27th. There was another clash on the west side of the station around 1 p.m. Twelve people died, and there's only a handful of survivors left. Everything's falling into disarray here. David Ford. That's them initially talking about them as just being... Just being... Mobs, as opposed to hordes of monsters. I've got the map filled in. So the map follows the same rules as the remake of one. Okay. I want to say Seven's map functions slightly differently, but I don't remember for sure because it's been a little while. I think in particular it might not have had the zone highlighting. I don't remember if, if rooms had colors in Seven. And then in Six, everything was just a Gears of War game, so uh, maps were pointless. We could hop in there, but I'll be very trapped and not able to come back. Let's try the normal ass door over here first. We Ah, never mind. Not so normal last door. I'm guessing you can't be used for this purpose. Hey, knifey. And a green herb native to the Arclay Mountains. It will restore a small amount of health. Okay, now I want to go back to... I want to go back to six now. It's native to the Arclay Mountains. Weren't... Weren't we finding the, this herb in China, I thought? Maybe that's why- maybe that's Arclay's primary export, is the green herbs. Can't- we can't grab that map- we can't even go up to that map, actually. Alright, so we pretty much have to hop down. Uh, if I'm lucky, I'll find a green- uh, the clover key while I'm there and come out that way. Or... Spade key, I guess. Or, so sorry, that's clever key, that's spade key. Those both would lead to through doors I've seen before. Otherwise, we're cut off. Unless I can hop back through the window after I've been through it. Do I want to take a trip to drop stuff off? Let's assume I might take some damage. And have a chance to use my healing items. No. Uh -oh. Really? I guess I, I guess a lot of people would have ammo around here. Most of the corpses, or not most of them necessarily, because there were refugees in here. But uh, a lot of the corpses are going to be cops, right? Maybe he won't notice me.
Maybe he didn't notice me. <laughs> Storage locker terminal memo. It appears the keypad to the locker's terminal is missing a few keys. I suggest that the person responsible for this mess find some spare keys and fix this right now. You know who you are, bastard. Who else would fuck up this badly? Oh. Someone's directly mad at someone in specific. Oh, he found me. Okay. What's over here? There's something in there. Locker 203. Oh, he's coming. I gotta explore this room, so if you could go away, please. If you don't mind. You done? I think he might be done. I also think my knife might be- it's- it's half. It's not that done. It's not great. Can I repair knives? Do I need to find more knives? Like, what's the rules here? Hmm. Looks like ink or something. Oh, and there's another knife. Question answered. Uh... They, I mean, they look like ink or something. I don't know. More ammo. This one popped up an interaction screen. Are those grenade rounds? That's what- yeah, that, that's what that type of shape meant in one. So I must have a grenade launcher in this game. Ooh, shotgun. Or is that a grenade launcher? I'm not- it kind of might be. Are you- already? Oh, great, thanks. Thanks. Oh yeah, more grenade rounds. I'll take it. I'll take it. Alright. Wow. Wow. Every single thing I looked at is populated on the screen now. That's actually kind of cool. Don't know what the difference is between that and that, for example. Or really what either of them are, but... Other stuff I can follow. That's a storage pouch, so probably be able to expand my inventory. Hmm. Okay. So basically, I can open anything if I type in its number. But we can't open anything that requires the numbers 2 or 3. Because those are both missing. It's like if I do like 101, I'd be like 101. No? 10. Or? 105. Nope. 106. There we go. Ta da! 107. 108. I could manually check, but I don't want to run around this room 17 times as this guy chases me, so I'm doing this for now. Alright, so 106. Yeah, okay. I got, I got two things open on my right. Got that going for me. Hey, buddy. Keep coming. Wouldn't want to lose track of you. The roll of film. Undeveloped roll of film. And more of this stuff. Get more ammo. Hey, buddy. Hey, just keep, keep coming. Keep coming. Alright, I need to find these keys. Go ahead and close that door behind me. Wait. All I know is that the people in that one spot lost track of me, so maybe other people will lose track of me as I go forward. Alright, he's trying to get in. I'm gonna try to not attract his attention by not going up to him, maybe. And this really changes the gameplay, having all of the rooms be continuous with each other without loading screens. And the fact that that means things can follow you through the doors sometimes. Like, that's... that's a big change. They broke the vending machines! Alright, that door doesn't open at the moment. I imagine those are all cases of, like, it's locked from the other side or something like that. The usual. 
Alright. Gunpowder. That must have been what I saw before. Do you make your own bullets in this game? That's a combined recipe, right? You take a gunpowder and you mix it with other objects to just straight up make bullets in some of these games. So two handgun ammo makes a gun... Uh, sorry, two gunpowder makes a handgun ammo. Gunpowder plus high-grade gunpowder white gets acid rounds. Two high-grade gunpowder white makes submachine gun ammo. There's not a lot of ammo left around the station, so make good use of any gunpowder you find. Different guns require different ammo, so pay attention when you're combining things or you won't get what you need. Okay, so that mechanic's back. So basically hoard it in my storage box and then look up what to make, like what I want to make when it comes time to think about that. Right now I'm getting enough ammo that I'm not super worried, and I'm gonna try to avoid fights when I get the opportunity to continue saving some of it, because they're costly. Operation report. September 28th, 2.30 a.m. It's down to just me and three others. No weapons, no ammo, and too many skirmishes have drained us mentally and physically. We're not gonna make it. Officer Phillips once suggested we escape through the sewers. Apparently there's a secret tunnel under this place, left over from its museum days. I brushed her idea off before, but now it's not sounding all that bad. Yeah, there's no proof there's even a tunnel or that su the sewers aren't infested with zombies, but I don't want to sit here and wait to die either. It's a long shot, but I'm going to try to find out what I can about that tunnel. Unfortunately, they did a very bad job. So it's Elliot Edward. Is that the guy who got cut in half? Maybe he did do a good job. Maybe he made it so far that he researched all the information I needed all the way down to the codes needed to get the medallions, but just couldn't quite make it back to the main hall in time, which is when he, when he died. Uh, and maybe he was going to start decoding stuff. But I was going to say, the, uh, the process of getting that lion medallion in, in particular was so easy that it's hard to imagine they're not having it, but it's because he probably just learned how to get it, and then he died. Mm -hmm.